Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the spike zone with the lionfish. Three. Ah! 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 You all right? Did he get you? Oh, yeah. Ah! Ah! Okay, let's get you home. Oh man, dude, I'm light headed. Right, I'm light headed. Right. I'm light headed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, maybe it is a little worse than I thought. Let's get you upstairs. Oh, this is actually really pretty bad. Open the door and not film it, dude. My arms are like fire. Yeah, I know. Cool. What are you doing over here? Okay, so first most important thing, hot water. Gotta get hot water on my hand as soon as possible. Gotta heat it up. Uh, let's sit down here. <sighs> wow. You alright? That is some radiating pain. <sighs> Different than the uh tarantula hawk or the bullet ant, for sure. Okay, let me collect myself. Yeah, so what's the game plan here? Like, how do we treat this? Okay, the most important thing for venom like this, uh, you can also do this with stingray venom, lionfish venom, most marine creatures that can sting you and put venom into your body, is hot water. As hot as you can stand, that heat breaks down the peptides and the proteins in the venom. But the first thing I wanna do is actually just get some hydrogen peroxide onto the wound and clean it off first. There you go, that feels actually really nice and cool on my hand. See that bubbling up? Yep. That's just soaking down into the wounds and... Uh, so the venom from the lionfish can actually be neutralized, is that correct? Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I know you're like watching this, you think he's barely even talking. Yeah, like what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, my hand is in a lot of pain right now. <sighs> wow, I'm getting lightheaded too. Guys, I'm sorry. This is probably the least put together. Do we need to, do we need to stop? Do we need to like be worried? No, 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 no. No, I'll get through this. I will get through this. As soon as, uh, Mario, will you go check on that? It's gonna take a while for that water to really heat up. Go see if that water is starting to boil at all. So the Epsom salt, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this in now. How much do you put in? Uh, you don't need a lot. I'm gonna put in more than you probably need. You probably just need a couple teaspoons. I'm putting in. <sighs> now, what is the salt? That smells good. Uh, that salt will actually also help break down the proteins in the venom. So um, it, it also soothes. It also kills bacteria. It's going to kill and break down the venom. Um, it's just good. They tell you use Epsom salt if you can. If you don't have Epsom salt, just warm water will do a, a perfectly good job of uh, breaking down breaking down the venom. Ah! <sighs> Oh man, it's like, it, it's, it is worse now than when I was stung. It's worse than it was two minutes after. <sighs> like, I can, I can feel it. It is just throbbing. Okay, yeah, here you go, here you go. Dump that, just dump as much as you can, as much as will fit in here. This. <sighs> hot, 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 hot. Ooh. <laughs> that is almost too hot to hot to handle, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep my hand in there. That's definitely gonna help break down proteins in the venom. The most important thing that could happen right now is that venom breaking down. Let me try to just kind of work some of that into the wound. Kind of massage the wound there a little bit. Oh man. Uh, you're not getting the instant relief you thought was coming your it's way? It's not instant, it's not instant. Now we gotta give it a few minutes. Okay, let's do this. Let's uh, let's cut the camera okay. for a couple minutes here. I'm just gonna let my hand soak for about 15 minutes. Uh, we'll come back and um, I'll show you guys the, the last steps here for, for taking care of, of the wound. Okay. <sighs> Coyote, it's been about 10 minutes. How 10 minutes? Going? Feeling better. Believe it or not, my hand <sighs> getting a little pruney. <laughs> That's okay though. Um, still sore. Definitely still sore. 
Um, I'm gonna continue to soak it, but I think it is at least to the point where I'm able to converse with you guys a little bit better. Uh, the warm water definitely helped. Not immediately, it certainly was not immediate. I would say about five to six minutes in, I was noticing some relief. My hand is still throbbing, but it's better. It's considerably better, in fact. And keep in mind that everybody's body reacts differently to venom. That is the most important point that I can make. You could be stung by a honeybee and go into anaphylactic shock. Now, there are very few reported cases of people having a, a really negative reaction to a lionfish uh, spiking and, and the venom. So if you are spined, barbed, whatever you want to call it by one of these fish, definitely pay attention to what happens to your body. Seek medical attention if you feel as if you're going into anaphylactic shock or having any sort of allergic reaction. Now, where there still are the marks from the spines, I basically just want to apply my favorite, Neosporin. Uh, brand new bottle, I always bring a brand new one on every single trip. But you basically just want to take Neosporin, uh, ooze that out there, put it on the wounds, and pay attention to the wounds to make sure that you're not having any secondary infection set in. So I'm gonna let that Neosporin sit there. I'm gonna keep that open to the air and let that just soak in and do its things. Now this Neosporin is for pain and it will also kill a lot of the bacteria that potentially went into my hand. Now if you feel as if you're starting to have an allergic reaction, you can certainly take some Benadryl. I'll probably take one of these just as a safety precaution. And then of course, any basic ibuprofen will work for reducing the pain and the swelling. Wow, well I am still lightheaded and believe it or not the pain is <laughs> actually kind of starting to come back in my hand now that it's cooling off i want to get it back into the hot water but oh guys that was um that was intense that was intense yeah uh, i'm glad you uh you made it through okay you're getting a little nervous mario that was that was kind of scary there for a second yeah well and, and guys keep in mind that is the first time that my body has been exposed to the venom of a marine creature and i was nervous for this one i will not lie and like i told you guys on the boat this morning that was the first time aside from the manatee episode that i've ever snorkeled before so i was just excited to be able to catch one of these fish get up close from the cameras hopefully we learned a lot about these animals and like i always say whatever you do do not repeat what you saw me doing at home or on your own. Admire these animals from a safe distance and everybody will be safe and sound. Arrgh. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Oh, come here, warm water. If you missed the main episode, make sure to go back and watch as I entered the spike zone with the lionfish. Ouch. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next aquatic adventure.